Hey everybody, welcome and happy new year. Well, I hope it's all going to be a great year for all of you, um, you know, work-wise, study-wise, and of course, health-wise, right? Anyway, today's video is in Maya as per usual, and we're going to be talking about an option called Reduce, and that option can be found under the Mesh tab up here. So Mesh and Reduce, there you go, with options as well. That's what I'm going to be talking about. And what does it do? Well, it does exactly what you think it does. It reduces a subdivision level, right? Now, if you're familiar with something like ZBrush, then you know how that works, right? You can step down and in ZBrush, you can also step up. That's not the case here, but uh, you're probably uh, wondering, well, why talk about mesh and reduce when we have the option to unsmooth? Because that's basically the same thing, right? Well, first of all, Unsmooth is new to Maya 2024 and it does its job uh, perfectly, uh, but it has the restriction that you can only use Unsmooth if the initial smoothing has been done with the uh, Maya Catmull Clark option turned on, right? Let's say you have another model, older model, whatnot, uh, you might want to use the reduce option. So that's why I wanted to explain it, okay? So let me demonstrate. We're gonna take a simple polygon cube. Right, we're gonna go up to mesh and smooth, and we're gonna set that to subdivision level three. So we got somewhat of a sphere, right? It's not perfectly round, but you get the idea. Now, let's say I want to use that reduce option. We're gonna go up to mesh and reduce, and go to the options, and we have a couple of things we can do here. First of all, we can choose to keep the original. So if I reduce the subdivision level on this guy, I will keep the original and I'll have a second one with a lower, uh, lower poly count, right? So that's what I can do. I'll leave that on. And then under reduction method, we have basically three options. We can choose a percentage of the original. We can put in a limitation for vertices or we can put in a limitation for triangles. Now, this is not triangulated, but well, we'll get to that in a second, okay? Let's start with percentage. Let's say we find this to be way too dense mesh-wise, right? Let's reduce it by 50%. Now, here we have the shape uh, options here, uh, preserve quads. Well, we have all quads here. Uh, set it to one and it will preserve any quad it can. Set it to zero and it will get rid of any quad it can, all right? And whatever in between. Sharpness, we're gonna leave that alone. And then down here, we have a couple of, uh, let's call them quote unquote advanced features, uh, you know, where you can uh, select uh, mesh borders, UV borders, that kind of thing. But we're gonna focus on the top settings here. All right, so keep the original uh, reduced by 50% of the mesh. And let's click on reduce and see what happens. Alrighty, so the reduction has uh, been done. And here's our original, as you can see. And here is our reduced model, right? Now, immediately when I click on it, I can see, well, hey, this is not symmetrical. It doesn't look uh, clean. It's not ideal, right? Now, but that's in this scenario. There are scenarios where it can be very effective. And I'll show you that in the next example, right? So let's get out of this. Let's go back to our original and we're gonna go up to mesh and reduce. Go back to the option. And let's say I want to, for whatever reason, right? Let's say I want to have a vertex limit of eight. Eight will give me back my original perfect cube, right? Now you're probably gonna say, hey, just make a new cube, but for demonstration purposes, I want it to be eight vertices. Everything else, leave it the same, click on reduce, boom, there you go. A clean eight vertex, uh, eight vertices uh, square or cube, right? So it does work. All right, then finally we have the option uh, to uh, reduce based on triangles, right? So we're gonna go to mesh, we're gonna go to reduce, we're gonna go to option box, and let's limit it to, I don't know, 20 triangles. And just see what happens. Click on reduce, and we'll get this guy right here. Now, first of all, where are my triangles? I uh, My assumption here is that it is uh, two in this one, two in that one, and so forth but you can see that it does work on it. Now, 
Um, is this the greatest option in the world to use? I would not say so. I think there are cleaner ways to do it. Uh, but nevertheless, I want to explain each and every feature that is available in Maya. And hey, maybe I missed the point completely. Maybe it's a brilliant tool to use and I just don't understand it. Could be. If so, let me know in the comments. But other than that, this is what it does, right? Nevertheless, if you like the fact that I explain all this stuff, hit that like button and I'd love to see you guys in the next video, all right? Thanks for watching. Bye.